What's up guys? Um, we are back for another video in our pros and cons series. And today we're gonna be talking about the septum piercing. Let's start with the pros, all right? It's always good to start with the positive. So first and foremost, um, I think the most awesome part of a septum piercing is it's super, super easy to hide, all right? Super easy to hide. Um, you can start with like a circular bar barbell or actually make specific septum retainers that you could flip up. Um, it's amazing. So if you have a job or a family or just any circumstance where you can't have a piercing, um, the septum is an amazing option for you because you can get jewelry that you can start off with right off the bat that you can flip up and completely 100% hide, okay? So that is always probably the best part of this piercing. It's probably the only piercing you can 100% hide, all right? Our second pro. Second pro, um, in my opinion, it's a really, really easy piercing to heal. Um, it's a little uncomfortable, maybe the first week, just because you got a lot of swelling, irritation, and there's a lot of nerves in there, so it's a little sensitive. But for the most part, this thing heals up no problems whatsoever. Um, if you hit that really nice sweet spot inside there, it's pretty thin mucus tissue, slight cartilage, thin, thin, thin cartilage, or just straight mucus tissue, and that stuff heals up great and really, really fast, okay? Our third pro. Third pro for a septum piercing is there are so many jewelry options for the septum. Tons and tons of jewelry. Um, everything from really small, dainty little rings that just kind of wrap around your nose to giant, big, elegant um, things with fancy uh, filigree and all sorts of crazy designs, gems, whatever you want. Multiple rings. Man, sky is the limit. It probably has more jewelry options than any other piercing that I can think of that are completely different from look to look or style to style, okay? So with the septum piercing, you can really kind of suit or cater to your own personal needs or looks or whatever you're trying to go for and really dial in that specific uh, look that you want. Um, with, with the septum piercing, this, like I said, sky's the limit. It's awesome as far as jewelry options go. Number four. So the fourth, probably most positive part of a septum piercing is it leaves virtually no scarring. I mean, there is scarring, obviously, but it's so up inside your nose, you don't see it at all. And even if you're really trying to look up in the nose, you're not gonna see it. So if you want a piercing where there's zero repercussions as far as like scarring or anything like that, um, septum is it. I mean, you're just, it's cool because it's, take it out, it's like you never ever had it, okay? Um, we personally, I had a zero gauge in my septum and it's probably struck up to like a two gauge or a four gauge now, and it's a pretty big hole, but you can't see it. You would never ever know, okay? Um, so yeah, that is a huge perk to a septum piercing. Our fifth and final pro, and of course there's many more than just five, but we're just talking about five today. Our fifth and final pro to a septum piercing is um, it's a really, really easy piercing to get. If you go to a professional piercer who really knows what they're doing, there's a thing inside your nose called a sweet spot. It's a paper thin piece of tissue, cartilage, whatever you wanna call it, um, you know, mucus tissue, but it's paper, paper thin, okay? And if you hit that, you do not feel this piercing at all. Now, it might slightly make your eyes water because involuntarily there are nerves that connect from your nose to your tear ducts, but for the most part, that's it. Um, it is so fast and so easy and so chill. Um, that you just don't feel it. It's a great, great piercing. Um, now, everybody's nose is different. Some people's sweet spots are a little thicker, some people's sweet spots are a little thinner, but on average, if it's done properly and done super, super fast, man, you just don't even feel this piercing going in. It's amazing. All right, so now with that being said, let's go over the cons to the septum piercing. Um, cons or downsides are, I mean, honestly, in my opinion, there are no downsides. If anything, it's just a minor inconveniences because I love the septum piercing so much, probably one of my most favorite piercings. But there are some cons that let's, let's discuss really fast. Um, the first one is it's very hard to get straight, okay? Now, everybody's nose is shaped differently. Some people's nose are perfect, some people's nose are wonky, but everybody has a different shaped nose. Um, because of that, you really wanna make sure you go see somebody who knows what they're doing, okay? I couldn't tell you how many crooked septum piercings I've seen out there just because they weren't done properly. Um, if you go to a professional piercer who knows exactly what they're doing, they should be able to nail this piercing perfectly straight for you, no problems whatsoever, okay? So that is definitely a con. Um, you definitely wanna make sure it gets done straight, all right? It's in the center of your face, the slightest little bit of uh, angle to it, it really shows and it's really highlighted because of how central to your face it is, all right? So make sure you go see someone who knows what they're doing and they should be able to you know, get that perfect for you, no problems at all. The second con, second downside uh, would be they have a slight smell to them in the beginning. Um, when you get your septum pierced and you have something metal or, or something of that nature inside there, your body produ produces what's called SIBA oil 
and that kind of builds up on the bar and it gets a little stinky. Um, mostly just because it's up inside your nose so you really smell it, okay? Now, you smell it, nobody else around you ever, is ever gonna smell it, but you definitely smell it. Uh, the way to kind of fix that would be once it's good and healed, um, you gotta kind of deal with it throughout the healing process. Um, but once it's good and healed, just wash it off with some soap and water really well, like in the shower and stuff, whatever your body wash or antimicrobial soaps you have. Just wash it off really, really well. The jewelry, you don't have to take the jewelry out, just turn the side, wash it, turn the side, wash it, um, and then rinse it off really well. And you should kind of help be able to battle that quite a bit. Um, I do notice, especially with my piercings in general, that uh, after the first year or so, that kind of goes away. Um, it's different for everybody, but it's definitely not something that stays forever. But once again, just a minor inconvenience. You have a little funky smell that's up inside your nose for a bit while it's piercing's healing. Who cares, whatever. So number three uh, con to a septum piercing is, while there is a ton of jewelry on the market to choose for for this piercing, there's also a ton of cheap jewelry, okay? So you wanna be really, really careful um, what you're buying. That you make sure you're getting something that's made of complete implant grade materials, or for the most part, a 14 karat gold, surgical stainless steel, or titanium piece, okay? Try and avoid silver at all costs, or even like stainless steel that has silver soldered onto it, okay? They just turn to, tend to oxidize and tarnish and, and look really, really gross after a few months or a few weeks even sometimes. So really, really be conscious of the quality of jewelry you're putting inside your septum piercing, even if it's well healed, okay? There's so much stuff on the market, um, just make sure what you're getting is good quality, okay? Number four. Um, certain jewelry, such as circular barbells, which is probably the most common piece of jewelry that people get pierced with, um, you know, when you're wearing it inside your septum, it might get bumped or knocked and sit crooked, okay? Um, so you kind of always gotta be checking it and just making sure it's sitting perfectly straight. Um, eventually you kind of get used to like kind of using your upper lip and pushing up to, to straighten out your jewelry or even just reach up there and grabbing it. In the beginning, the first two or three months while it's healing, you don't really wanna be touching it too much. So if you are gonna straighten it out, you know, the best time is after doing like maybe a salt water soak or after a, a hot shower or everything's nice and moist inside there, you can kind of just gently shift it and straighten it out. But um, once it's healed and stuff, just know like if you're eating or talking or something, you can knock it sideways and it just tends to sit wonky. Um, a lot of times you have people point it out to you, but just check it frequently um, once it's fully healed because you don't want to be touching a lot while it's healing. So once it's fully healed, just make sure you touch it or, or you check it and make sure it's sitting nice and straight because these piercings can get knocked off course very, very easily, okay? Number five, um, our fifth and final con to a septum piercing. Um, blowing your nose, uh, picking your nose, wiping your nose, all that fun stuff is definitely going to be uncomfortable mostly in the beginning, okay? So be really, really careful when you blow your nose, when you wipe your nose, you got fingers up your nose, like whatever you do in your free time, be conscious about it. Um, you don't want to be knocking and touching that jewelry too, too much, um, but it is obviously going to need to happen. Um, when you're done wiping your nose or blowing your nose, just make sure you gently wipe off the jewelry because you will get stuff kind of caught in that jewelry and built up on that jewelry and we don't want to leave that there. Not only does it look not that cute, but it's not great for the piercing either, okay? So after you're done blowing your nose or whatever you're doing to your nose, just make sure you wipe down that jewelry, being very, very gentle, especially if it's a fresh piercing that you're not bumping or knocking it too much. But once again, you gotta do what you gotta do, okay? So there you guys go. Um, there's five pros, five cons to the septum piercing. Probably one of my most favorite piercings ever. Um, hope you guys got something out of this. Hope you guys are loving this series. And we'll see you guys next video.